memes, threats to sue, private grumblings and public statements. All these have gone between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg, who continue to feud. The two of them have a lot of things in common. They are both billionaires, pioneers in tech, and both own social media platforms. And yeah, they are pretty controversial. Still, they can't seem to get along, and there have been threats to go physical in a cage match. While they haven't gone through with the match, tension remains high, especially with Musk allegedly calling Mark Lizard Boy. Why did Musk allegedly do that? Join me as I tell you the top 10 reasons why Elon Musk called Mark Zuckerberg Lizard Boy. Number 10 is personal, and number 8 is petty. Number 10. Meta called Musk insane. Elon Musk is the poster boy for doing what looked impossible. At least that was before he bought Twitter, now known as X, for $44 billion. Right from the purchase of the app to the operation of it, things have been chaotic for the entrepreneur. An example of this was when the X owner began to limit the number of posts users could see daily. Musk announced that new unverified accounts would only see 300 tweets per day, old unverified accounts would see up to 600, and Twitter blue subscribers would see 6,000 posts. Moves like this were what his rivals saw, and they decided to become direct competitors. Zuckerberg's meta was a leading rival in this aspect, and the company revealed that it was working on a text-based social platform in early 2023. Codenaming their app, Project 92, Meta's chief product officer Chris Cox took shots at Musk, saying their platform would be one that is sanely run. Ouch, sorry Musk, but you know Elon is not that kind to roll over in the face of a challenge. He shot back at Meta's owner and accused him of having dictatorial tendencies. Number 9. Meta Created Threads Meta went ahead and created its answer to Twitter, which it called Threads, and Zuckerberg announced the most trolling way possible. Mark revealed the Threads launch on Twitter using a Spider-Man meme. It was a page straight out of Musk's book, and you can guess Elon's reaction. Of course, he didn't like it. X's lawyer, Alex Spiro, wrote to Meta that X, formerly Twitter, would sue Meta as it believed that the company had stolen X's trade secret and intellectual property. Alex noted that X would ensure that Meta stops taking actions requiring it to use the platform's trade secret and confidential information. In Alex's letter, he accused Meta of hiring former X employees who knew how the platform worked to make its copycat threads. Meta responded saying that it didn't steal any of X's former employees and did this squash the beef? No, it was just getting started. Elon Musk posted, I spent $44 billion for this app and now Lizard Boy just decided to hit copy and paste. It's personal now, see you in the cage, Zuck. The tweet generated millions of impressions, but it wasn't Musk who tweeted it. It was a parody account that did so. Musk posted under the tweet that many people were sure it was him and even replied negatively when social media personality Mr. Beast asked if he was running the parody account. Still, people didn't believe Musk and were so sure that he made the Lizard Boy tweet. Number 8. Twitter isn't going as expected. While this isn't exactly Zuckerberg's fault, Musk hasn't forgiven his competitor for trying to take advantage of the chaos he is facing with Twitter by creating an app many have nicknamed Twitter Killer. When Elon bought Twitter, now known as X, he did so because he wasn't a fan of the platform's policy on content, among other things. Musk wanted to make X a platform where people could freely express themselves without feeling gagged. The billionaire justified his purchase by finding and revealing damning information on how Twitter conducted its affairs. Musk, determined to turn things around at X, began to engage in cost-cutting measures, which meant about 80% of staff had to go. But it wasn't just the staff that went. The platform also saw the exit of a chunk of advertisers and users. Users who didn't leave have called the app dead as the remaining staff struggled to keep things going smoothly and also prevent impersonation and disinformation. Unfortunately for Musk, according to reports, X had several lost value and is worth around a third of Musk's $44 billion. No wonder he allegedly called Zuckerberg Lizard Boy. Number 7. Zuckerberg criticized SpaceX. The two billionaires didn't only clash because of X and Threads, they have been at each other's throats for years now. Although most times their grumblings have been private, sometimes it gets public. 
One of their earliest public clashes was in 2016 when SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket exploded after 9 a.m. at a launch site in Cape Canaveral, Florida. The rocket was supposed to launch Facebook's Amos 6 satellite into space. Facebook planned to use the satellite as part of its Internet.org initiative to provide Internet to the developing world. It was also supposed to be Facebook's first satellite in space. When the launch failed, Zuckerberg went to Facebook to lament the failure of SpaceX to launch its satellite into space. Musk accepted responsibility for this and mentioned that he thought Facebook had insurance on the rocket and provided the company with a free launch. Number 6. The Cambridge Analytica Scandal Facebook has always come under fire with different issues surrounding what it does with the data of its users. In 2018, Facebook got into trouble when the New York Times, working with the Observer of London and The Guardian, got documents that revealed a dark secret. It turned out that Cambridge had processed Facebook users' data without their consent, which led to issues of how secure Facebook was with people's data. The scandal led to a massive campaign that asked people to delete their Facebook accounts. When WhatsApp co-founder Brian Acton posted on X, formerly Twitter, that people should delete their Facebook accounts, Musk took a swipe at the platform, pretending he didn't know what Facebook was. When fans began to ask if Musk would delete SpaceX's Facebook page, the entrepreneur revealed he didn't know SpaceX had one and moved to delete it. Musk also did the same with Tesla's Facebook page. Still, Elon wasn't done with Zuckerberg and his Facebook. At least there was no name-calling this time. Number 5. Elon Believes Facebook Aided the U.S. Capitol in 2021 When actor Sacha Baron Cohen posted on X, formerly Twitter, that Facebook should be regulated and Zuckerberg not allowed to be an emperor, Musk supported the actor and reminded people to delete the app from their devices. When the Capitol riots began, Musk tweeted a meme that he designed to blame Facebook for the chaos. Again, Musk used the opportunity to hit at Zuckerberg, saying his platform was spying on users as WhatsApp announced it would begin to share user data with Facebook. Number 4. Musk believes Zuckerberg is too controlling. The SpaceX boss alleged that Mark Zuckerberg acted like a king regarding the control of Meta, Facebook's parent company. Musk used the opportunity to reveal that while Mark liked to be in control of all of the social media platforms under his control, he, Musk, wouldn't do the same with Twitter. This leads back to the criticisms that Zuckerberg faced from different people. Even Jack Dorsey, former CEO of Twitter, now known as X, has also clashed with Zuckerberg in the past. It's just that it appears Elon is the most vocal Zuckerberg critic. Number 3. Zuckerberg called Musk an irresponsible naysayer. Mark also took digs at Tesla's CEO when the opportunity called for it. Musk has always called for care and regulation when it came to AI. The SpaceX founder believed if the use of AI is not properly checked, it could cause disastrous situations. On the other hand, Zuckerberg didn't see things the way his rivals saw them. He believed that Elon was exaggerating the situation and was just being a naysayer. The CEO of Meta has an optimistic approach towards AI and believed Musk was being irresponsible with his comments on AI. Elon, when he saw what Zuckerberg said, posted on Twitter that the Meta CEO had a limited understanding of AI. Musk really knows how to hit where it hurts. Number 2. Zuckerberg is jealous of Elon. Billionaires are humans too. Their wealth doesn't take away their ability to hurt, get jealous, or feel other kinds of emotions. Zuckerberg has allegedly privately displayed jealousy towards Musk. Allegedly, Zuckerberg wants to get the recognition that Musk has as he is also a pioneer in technology. No wonder Musk doesn't like him that much. Number 1. Zuckerberg wants to fight. Do you know how Musk interacts with people on X? So after another criticism of Zuckerberg, users told Musk to tone it down or get his ass kicked, as Meta's CEO is a skilled jiu-jitsu fighter. Musk replied that he was up for a cage match with Zuckerberg with the Meta CEO. When he saw the post, Zuckerberg immediately replied on Instagram that he was ready to do battle. What Musk may have said in his usual trolling manner was taken seriously about Zuckerberg, who was keen to face Musk in a cage. There is no love lost between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg, as they criticize each other any chance they get. It has got to the point that when an Elon Musk parody called Zuckerberg a lizard boy, 
people believed it was Elon himself who did it by pretending to be a parody account. What do you think? Is Elon Musk behind the parody account, or is it a different person entirely? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to kike this video and subscribe to this channel for more.